Hi student, how are you? I hope all of you are fine. Today we are going to start a new chapter that is clause. So at first we have to know what is clause, what is the definition of clause and how many kinds of clauses are there and their classification also. We are going to start today. Okay, let's start. So at first we have to know what is called clause or what is the definition of clause. The definition of clause is a clause is a sentence forming part of a bigger sentence. A clause is a sentence forming part of a bigger sentence. That means a bigger sentence ka ek part hai clause. Jaise clause, clause bigger sentence ka jo part hai, usi hisab se clause ko jor jor ke hum bigger sentence, bada sa sentence banate hai. To clause is an, an inevitable part of a sentence. Sentence ke liye clause bahut zaruri hai. A clause is a group of words that forms part of a larger sentence and has a subject and predicate of its own. A clause mein kya hota hai? Wo, this is a part of a sentence but it has its own subject and predicate. Okay? It has its own subject and predicate. That is the definition of clause. So, the again I repeat the definition. Uh, a clause is a group of words that forms part of a larger sentence and has a subject and predicate of its own. Okay, now we have to know how many kinds of clauses are there. Mainly, um, there are two kinds of clause. Number one is principal clause or main clause. And number two is subordinate clause or dependent clause. So, we have to know the definition of these two kinds of clause at first and where we can use the these clauses that is subordinate clause or main clause. Kaha pe use hoga, wo humko dekna hoga. So, um, at first I will give you an example. The example line is, as he is ill, he cannot come. As he is ill, he cannot come. As he is ill, comma, he cannot come. So, there are two parts in this sentence. The first, sen in this sentence, he cannot come. This clause mainly, this clause mainly um, express the main things in the sentence. So, which part? He cannot come. That is the main information of the sentence or main part of the sentence. As he, he is ill, this part or this clause cannot express him, it cannot express itself without the help of he cannot come. So, it is the main part and the another part that is as he is ill is the um, subordinate part or dependent part. So, the main part is always called the main clause or principal clause because it can be help use ho sakta hai. the clause which we cannot which we can use with the without any help of any other clauses they are called main clause or main clause or principal clause but the clauses or the clause which we have to use with the always we have to use with the help of a main clause or principal clause that is called subordinate clause or Dependent clause. Dependent means that it depends on depend karta hai. So, main clause depends on depend karta hai. Usse subordinate or, or dependent clause. Kaha jata hai. Okay. And the, uh, another example is this is the boy who did it. This is the boy who did it. So, in this sentence, we can say this is the boy. This clause or this part of the sentence actually says or explains the main things, main information of the sentence. This is the boy. But who did it? This part of the sentence is completely um, depend on the first part of or the it depend the first part or the main part of the sentence. Okay, so the main thing is here. This is the boy and uh, main clause or principal clause, and the second part is who did it. Okay, that is a dependent clause. So we can say the main clause are always used as freely. उसे किसी के ऊपर depend करने की जरूरत नहीं है पर subordinate clause और dependent clause में हमेशा हमको जरूरत होती है depend करना पड़ता है main clause के ऊपर depend करना पड़ता है जब use होता है so a clause that is dependent on another clause 
अनादर क्लॉज मीन्स प्रिंसिपल क्लॉज और मेन क्लॉज के ऊपर जो डिपेंड करता है इज कॉल्ड अ सबॉर्डिनेट और डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज और क्लॉज विच स्टैंड बाय इट सेल्फ एंड ऑन विच द सबॉर्डिनेट क्लॉज डिपेंड्स इज कॉल्ड द प्रिंसिपल क्लॉज और जो क्लॉज के ऊपर सबॉर्डिनेट क्लॉज डिपेंड करता है जो किसी के हेल्प के बिना ही यूज हो सकता है उसे हम मेन क्लॉज या फिर प्रिंसिपल क्लॉज कह सकते हैं ओके इट्स क्लियर टू एवरी वन सो देर आर टू काइंड ऑफ क्लॉजेस मेन क्लॉज और प्रिंसिपल क्लॉज एंड द नंबर टू इज सबॉर्डिनेट क्लॉज और डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज मेन क्लॉज फ्रीली यूज हो सकता है किसी के हेल्प के बिना विदाउट एनी हेल्प जिसके ऊपर सब डिपेंड करता है तो दिस इज कॉल्ड दिस इज दिस पार्ट ऑफ दिस सेंटेंस इज कॉल्ड द मेन क्लॉज और प्रिंसिपल क्लॉज और मेन क्लॉज और प्रिंसिपल क्लॉज के ऊपर जो डिपेंड करता है उसे सबॉर्डिनेट और डिपेंडेंट क्लॉज कहा जाता है सो in another sentence we can say i know where he is this is a example if it's an example so i know where he is in the sentence what is the principal clause the principal clause is i know that is the main things of this sentence and where he is this portion is subordinate clause because where he is it's completely depend on the main clause that is i know and the, in a, uh, another example we can say the book that you gave me is lost the book you gave me is lost so in the sentence we see the book is lost the book is lost the first portion and the last portion is completely a free portion or it can be used as freely or independently so it is called it is called the main clause or principal clause of the sentence and the other portion that is that you gave me that this portion is completely depend on the main clause and or the principal clause so this portion is called the subordinate clause again i repeat the book that you gave me law is lost the book you gave me is lost so the book is lost this is the um, re, this is the main portion of this sentence the baki portion is ke upar depend karke likha jaya likha ja gaya hai that so but um, the remaining portion is completely dependent on the um, principal clause that is the book is lost this is called the principal clause or main clause and the remaining portion that you gave me is completely depend on the principal clause that it is called so it is called subordinate clause okay then another example is i cannot do this unless you help me i cannot do this unless you help me i cannot do this so this is the main part it can be used independently in a sentence but the another part that is unless you help me is a part which cannot be used without the help of a principal clause so it is called the subordinate clause again i repeat i cannot do this unless you help me so i cannot do this this is the main thing or main portion or the dependent um, independent clause or main clause or principal clause in this sentence and the, and the remaining portion that is unless you help me is a um, subordinate clause in this sentence okay so um, here we have to know there are three classification of subordinate clauses also सबॉर्डिनेट क्लास का भी तीन प्रकार है या फिर थ्री तीन क्लासिफिकेशन है कौन वो क्या है हमको ध्यानना है पहले सो देर आर थ्री काइंड ऑफ सबॉर्डिनेट क्लाजेस नंबर वन नाउन क्लॉज और नॉमिनल क्लॉज नंबर टू एडजेक्टिव क्लॉज एंड नंबर थ्री एडवाबियल क्लॉज दिज आर ऑल्सो वेरी ईजी नाउन क्लॉज जो नाउन की तरह काम करता है नाउन क्लॉज जो जो विच वर्क एज अ नाउन एडजेक्टिव क्लॉज विच same work as a adjective and adverbial clause also same which work as an adverb today i will give you only the definition of this clauses and the next class i will explain this clauses this that means the subordinate clause ka jo part hai noun clause adjective clause and adverbial clause so what is noun clause noun clause किसे कहते हैं वो पहले हमको जानना है so noun clause jo noun ki tarah kaam karta hai that is called noun clause and adjective clause jo adjective ki tarah kaam karta hai aur adverbial clause jo adverb ki tarah kaam karta hai use adverbial clause kaha jata hai so aaj ke liye itna hi next din next class mein hum ye jo teeno clause hai noun clause adjective clause aur adverbial clause uska definition uses hum explain karenge theek hai okay bye